Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. This is a returning customer, 2007 Toyota RAV4. She is finished in sport trim. She has uh, scratches and bruises, but she's a great servant for the family. She has a super high miles consumes the engine consumes a lot of oil but she just keep going this is that oil eater oil consumer but she's still kicking good the owner is fully aware of adding the oil and recently she forgot to put the cap back she let it rest somewhere here and started driving realized that pretty soon and look Basically, the spray from there is a minimal. So she got very lucky. She caught that, checked the oil again, and kept driving. But she came today to my shop not for a regular oil change. Apparently, there is check engine light and a bunch of lights on. So we need to figure out what is happening. And that's a great opportunity to use this scanner, this bi-directional scanner which I got recently to try and test and see how it works and it says launch C reader professional 919e you can see the back of it I basically use auto but before I bought it I was setting between the launch and auto so let's see how this works Let's begin with connecting to the vehicle. It should be somewhere right here, underneath the dashboard. I see immediately there is a red light. There was pop the red light in the corner. And I think I have it off. Oh, look at that. This is cool. So it immediately says that the internal battery has 93%. I like that. Here is the button <laughs> and this is how it works I'm looking forward to seeing the difference between what I use and what launch has to offer in comparison this is my hand so it's a medium size nothing too small and not too big Let's get impressed by it today. Okay. Uh, oh, wind scan. Yeah, sorry. It started automatically, but I didn't put the ignition on yet. So it cannot scan it. Aha. Uh -huh. The moment I put it on, Find it. It says 2007 Toyota 4 Sports. Wow! Now start the vehicle system detection. Okay. That was pretty cool, don't you think? All that rattling. Uh, the auto doesn't do that, obviously. Well, it's not obvious. And now we are show menu, so we have to figure out what to push. I didn't got any training on it, so I have to figure it out. It's North America, so I will click on that, but I hope it's correct. Now searching, please wait. It's a four-wheel drive vehicle. We saw it. This is info. Scanning vehicle data, please wait. health report and the phone is ringing again so I came back and this is what I found diagnostic report it's the VIN the brand model year and mileage I don't get that on Autel wow this is pretty impressive I am assuming it's a touch screen and I will scroll through it so look at that Engine and ECT, abnormal, two codes, ABS, 
VSC and track abnormal three codes. Electronic motor power steering. There is a one code. Four wheel drive abnormal two codes. TPMS high pressure monitor monitoring system one code. Driver door motor abnormal two codes. Wow. Well, this has a lot of codes store that reminds me BMWs and Volkswagen not Toyota Wow when the engine was running and the vehicle came there was check engine light VSC and the four-wheel drive lights lit in the instrument cluster so let's see how do I get the engine codes do I click on it again oh so we have two counts one is current and one is history or both are current I guess cylinder number four and cylinder number four detected so this will be the ECM ABS let's click on it wow engine EV control system malfunction ABS malfunction low or high power supply voltage wow current current ABS Wow Four wheel drive This is lower high power supply voltage engine control system malfunction Wow, it has so many codes That's very unusual Driver door motor, motor malfunction, master switch of driver side door malfunction. So this is very, uh, very detailed. And this baby has a lot of problems, unfortunately. Let's see what will happen if you have those lights and one of you with a simple code reader will try to scan this vehicle. So all of us turn off. The ignition first. This still looks beautiful in good shape. I paid a lot of money a very long time ago. It was like 350. This was not cheap at the time, but we are really speaking like 10 years ago. So let's put the again ignition on and let's see what this will read for us. <laughs> Look at the difference. Coat reader, which you can buy, the simple ones cost 40, 60 bucks. They'll tell you one simple coat. P0304. It cannot read the ABS unit. It cannot read that somewhere here in the door switch there was a problem and sending somewhere in the past, sending incorrect signal to the motor. Go ahead and erase this code and we will see if it will come immediately back. If there is a problem, uh, I didn't even look underneath the cover, so let's go erase. Look, erase was successful, right? That's fine. So we will start the vehicle. Let's see what comes back. So look, a race was successful. There was before check engine light, VSC and four wheel drive. We will link again to it. Let's see if there is a hard code. Because if the injector, for example, if the wire to the injector is damaged, eaten by the mice or something, uh, it will show up pretty soon so far I'm running it there's nothing showing up the idle seems to be totally normal 246 676 miles on odometer this launch said it was kilometers but it was a miles this is in miles this is not some gray import vehicle so, so far, right, we don't have, if there was completely blown spark plug or if there was 
ignition coil completely mal malfunctioning. The engine will be not running okay. Uh, we will have a totally problem. The idle is nicely coming down. I will rescan really quick after it's running. And again, there is not misfire in that ECM. Look at that. Incredible. So it was all stored. The fault is not current. There might be a fault coming if I will start driving and that electronic steering wheel will uh, detect some problem. But right now everything is clean. Cool. If you want to be good at this profession, diagnostic of the vehicles, repairs and so on, you better ask a lot of questions when people bring you a vehicle which need diagnosis. In this case I didn't have to ask. The owner, she immediately told me, she said, this happened, I forgot this cab. Then I was driving and I realized it's not closed. I found it here, I was sitting here, put it back, added oil and kept driving and that's when the coats came on. Two 10 millimeter nuts. And just simple lift. Oh yeah, this is all covered in the oil. But if you look on the numbers or of cylinders, one, two, three, four, the four right here, it's perfectly fine. And the injectors, which are in the back, and they have wiring harness to them. I'm looking at it. That was not affected by that spill. So let's continue further. Let's go and disconnect this connector. Look if it's all right. We will remove the ignition coil number four because that was the only misfire. There were no random misfires. There was specifically number four. You can put it right there. Let's see if we have maybe oil in the spark plug tube. If you look here, can you see? Oh yeah, you can see it nicely. There's absolutely zero oil present in the tube. Toyota Denso, this is original made in Japan part. These are still large spar plugs, not the pencil style. So it's a 5.8 spar plug wrench. Let's feel the torque on it. If it's completely loose or not, let's see. Oh no, it's not. I will say that was correct. So definitely no blow by or anything which could cause the misfire. Oh yeah. And we will see those ashes which I which are caused by that engine consuming oil. This is the famous engine where we have a problem with the piston rings and the oil is making it in the combustion chamber. And I filmed this car for you. I filmed for you this white ashes, the white suit on tip of all four spark plugs. I remember when I first met these people, these owners, and they brought this vehicle first time in my shop. I remember my shock with those white ashes. The spark plugs were very old. So basically this is done by me. This then saw the correct SK20 R11. That was installed by me and the white ashes are back. For those who don't know and they might say, hey, take a wire brush and clean it off. <laughs> no, my friend, this is Iridium spark plugs. You never touch or adjust the gap on this. So I have finally looked, not through the camera monitor, but with my own eyes. 
and we have a reason actually to replace the spark plugs. This one, the tip actually, the hook, not the tip which sticks like this way, which is part of the spark plug, but the hook above, the hook, it's missing a chunk of it. It's actually missing. Can you see it? Will the camera do you, do you see from this point of view the right side is burnt off or broke off? This I cannot say, but it's missing. The gap is large. We will measure it too. These are pre-gapped as a brand new. You never change that on iridiums. And it's a 1.1 millimeter. Come on, baby. Just stay in focus. So I will grab 1.1 millimeter made of two feeler gauges. And they are rattling up and down the top L-shaped part. It's burnt off completely. Hope you can see it. Here I'm trying to show you detail on the left the one I was cleaning and these are the white ashes on those spar plugs. I hope I will be able to show you the difference between the old and the new. Hopefully the close-up shot. Is this better? Maybe. I'm trying my best to show it to you. How correctly install and torque these spark plugs. I just made a video about it and it's on the back of the box. Here we go. Carefully, you don't want to ever rush this and hit those tips while you are putting it in. Think of that tip as an untouchable. You never adjust it. You never want to bang into anything while you are rushing just very carefully install and this is how i will work it nice all four spark plugs in time for the coils i always keep them in the same order purely theoretically the ecm is used to see certain data from certain cylinder and you don't want to mix and match the coils and maybe there will be slight variation and purely theoretically the computer can trigger the misfires. Now I need to go ahead and clean that engine cover. I wonder if it will start flowing out. Do you see it? Oh my god. Yeah, I said sponge, huh? Full of oil. Way, way better. I love it. Let's see how it will run with the new spark plugs. Many times the idle is different. Yep, again the ECM needs to relearn that it has new plugs and here we are back from the test drive you can see things you can see the instrument cluster the idle everything is fine I'm happy I had enough time to film the whole thing for you how to repair those lights which were in the instrument cluster and the code for the number four cylinder and also I was able to show you what's the huge difference between the basic code reader and professional multi-directional or bi-directional whatever you want to call it professional diagnostic tool so if I have a link from the uh, from the company I will put it below the video you can check how much it is I didn't even look uh, if you are interested in something way more sophisticated than the 
code reader for 60 bucks, you can consider that company and their product, it works pretty good, and it will bring you in the completely different level, don't you think so? Okay, thank you for watching, and have a great weekend, my friend.